Hi, I'm Tanya from My Vinyl Cut, and I'm going to show you how to import a PNG image and then create a contour cut line around it and send it to your printer if you want to use a printable vinyl that you can use with an inkjet home printer. So I have, I use a Cameo 3, and I have the Silhouette Studio Business Edition, and I have a MacBook Air. So if you're following along and your screen doesn't look like mine, it's probably because you don't have the same thing I have. So um, hopefully you can still follow along. So I have my um, my workspace set up, um, but I'm going to go ahead and turn my mat on because I am going to use my mat to send this to the cutter, and I'm going to have my print border and my cut border on. Um, it's going to look a little bit different when we turn the registration marks on. We're going to need to turn our registration marks on, so. You do that right here. We're uh, using a Cameo, so it's type one. And also, we are going to um, change the page size because I don't have a home printer that prints 12 inches wide. So I'm gonna select um, current printer. So I already have my printer connected. Um, I just select current printer. And it, for some reason, always changes it to landscape. I'm gonna change it back to portrait. So this is our boundaries. We have a few different boundaries here. This red line is the cut boundary and this gray line, it's kind of hard to see, is the print boundary. But you also have this shaded area that you can't have anything in that area either. So I'm going to go ahead and import my image onto this workspace by selecting File Merge. That puts it right on here. Um, I'm going to my desktop, which is where I have my little pumpkin saved, and I will put a link in the description um, to show where I purchased this if you want to purchase this cute little pumpkin. So we can't actually, we could print this, but we wouldn't be able to cut it because if we send it to the cutter, it would cut a square. Let's select it and turn our cut line on. It would just cut a square because this is a PNG image it's just a picture and that's the edge of the picture so what we need to do is trace it and then um, create an offset around the trace so we're going to select the trace area draw a box around it and these lighter areas aren't really going to be picked up so you're going to have to turn your threshold up and then you're going to trace the outer edge because you don't really want to trace these inner, inner bits. So let's move this aside and it's very important not to resize anything if you want them all to line up. Now we technically could cut all that out but I don't necessarily want to do that. I just want to create an offset around the outside so it prints a border around or it cuts the border around the outside and my transfer paper is white and so it'll just have a white outline around it and inside this part where it's transparent that will be white as well. I don't want my border to be that large. Oh and actually I already clicked away from it so let me do it again. Um, it kind of set it. So I'm going to offset it and then here I'm going to decrease the space around it. So I want it to be kind of a tight border. So then you click on the inside part and delete it. And now you're left with this outside cut line. And you put this back in here and line it up. Um, you can line it up with your arrows if you want, or you can eyeball it. Um, the align tool doesn't work because the center is different. Um, at, in, in all that process, it, it got to be different. So I'm going to print this as large as I can print it. So I'm going to turn it on its side by rotating it. And I have both selected the line and the actual PNG image. So I'm going to go as far to the left and as far to the top as I can. And then I'll drag it out to where this red line almost touches that red line. So I'm going to get it as large as I can get it. OK, so right now it's ready to print. But you don't want it to print this red line so you're going to select the red line and go to your line and you're going to, oh actually that's the um, 
All right, so since this image is on top and the space around it is really large, when I go to click this, it won't click because this picture is on the top. So let's see if I can try to arrange it by sending it to the back. And then let's see if I can select this. Yes, so now it's showing that my line is red, so that's the red cut line. Let's turn it off. I'm going to leave it the way it is because I don't want uh, to move it because it's going to be in the same place for when we cut it. So I'll just click off and we'll go to File, Print, and then we're going to make sure you have your right printer selected. Um, I'm going to use photo paper and then we're going to hit print and then when it comes out I'll show you what it looks like.